Hi, in this video series, we're going to be talking about how to purchase a domain name and have it redirect to your ClickBank affiliate link. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find a creative domain name and we're going to go through the process of purchasing it. And we will actually redirect it to that link that we got earlier in video two. So with that said, I'm going to try to make this video as straight to the point so that you can take shortcuts and I'll show you little things that you can use so that you can actually do this quicker. Now most people, what they would do is they would go to Google and they would go to places like GoDaddy or Namecheap and they'll actually sit there and think of ideas. They'll think of domain names and they'll just search for them. Now, what I would recommend is using a tool that thinks for you. So I'm going to go back to Google. So the less thinking you have to do, the better. I'm going to use a website that is located at DomainTools.com, as you can see here. But I'm showing you that so you can see you can search from Google. So if you go to DomainTools.com, they have a nice little feature that I use a lot and what it is is a it is a domain suggestion tool you click on the domain suggestions link here we can enter two words and what it will do is it'll find many many different types of domain names that are available so that way you don't have to sit at namecheap.com or you know whatever domain registrar you use and figure out if it's available or not. So as you can see here, it's already found available .com, .net domains. Now, what you want to do is you want to get a .com because most people are used to .coms. And just by default, most people will type in something something .com instead of .net or .org. So I use this tool to find creative domain names. You can find great training courses or you could even list problems that dogs have like stop dog chewing and have it generate suggestions for you for that. Dog chewing guide, stop dog chews, stop puppy chewing. And the good thing about this is, let's say that you choose that. Let's say we'll choose the stoppuppychewing.com. Now, once we've found that, what you want to do is go back to your domain registrar. Earlier, we were using namecheap.com. I like Namecheap because it's quick and easy. It's something I've used for many, many years. They've been quite reliable and they have cheap prices as you can see. So I'm going to do that, do a search on it, and as you can see, it's available just like what we saw here. So with that in mind, instead of having to think, let this tool give you ideas to think. So the question is how do you purchase it? Purchase it like you're purchasing anything else. So what you can do is add this to your cart, could either do standard checkout or express checkout. If you do standard checkout, this is what it's going to look like. You basically enter your contact information and go from there. Or you could do an express checkout, which means if you already have an account and you have funds that are already available in your account, or you can pay by credit card. And Namecheap provides many, many different payment types. I also provide PayPal, which is what I use. So with that said, I'm not actually going to purchase this specific domain name. I'm going to use one of my default domain names that I have that is laying around. But just imagine that, you know, I'm using this domain name right here. So I'm going to go to my account to find the domain names that I have. 
And what I'll do is I'll just choose one of these domain names that I'm not actually using here. And for example, I'm not using this right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. So let's just imagine that this is the stoppuppychewing.com domain name, just to use an example here. So if I go back to WordPad here, and remember that I'm going to grab this affiliate link here. So just cut and copy of that to your clipboard. And what you do is go back to Namecheap. And it's very, very easy to do. Simply go to the URL forwarding link and just copy that in. So basically enter your ClickBank affiliate ID here. Click on Save Changes. And believe it or not, we're done. All you have to do is go to that domain name. You want to enter this information into your address bar, which is what I'm about to do. And as you can see, it forwarded to here. You want to see if it works, test it out whether it works. To test it out, go down to the bottom like you're ordering the product. Click on the order form. Now, if it works, I'm going to see my affiliate ID, ebooks for Y. See how it says affiliate equals? Your affiliate link or your affiliate ID has got to be down here in capital letters. If you see that, then it works. If you don't, then you might want to check to make sure that you're directing it to the correct affiliate ID link. So here's what it looks like. Yourdomain.com, whatever you buy, is going to link to your affiliate ID link. So it's going to link. And it's that simple. Once you're done with that, we can actually move on to the next video, which we'll be talking about setting up a blogger.com blog. Setting up a blogger.com blog is so easy, you'll be amazed. It actually takes a few steps, and that's it. It's less complicated than WordPress blogs. And we'll actually show you how to write a review about that product and post it on your blog.